I need to put lip gloss on. Okay. Are you ready to be Vogue? I'm ready. Mm, like you're saying, okay. Okay. I would like to get to know if I could be the king of the Hey guys, so today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So I'm gonna give you guys a room tour, but I'm also gonna tell you about some of my first times and I have my wonderful cameraman, Cole, but he's gonna ask me questions and we're gonna try something new. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my bags. And so I like bags. I've been getting more into it. I actually just got this one like a few days ago. It's from Nordstrom and I really like it. This one. I like this one. This one's from Marc Jacobs. They actually gifted it to me. And then this bag, it says, call me for a good time. So you guys can call me for a good time and I'll pick up with this phone. Okay, moving on to my shelf. So you have a lot of bags. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, I do. Tell me about your first kiss. Okay, my first kiss. My first kiss was... <laughs> do that again. <laughs> that was amazing. So... Tell me about your first kiss. My first kiss. Um, my first kiss was in eighth grade. My first kiss was in eighth grade and I was so scared to kiss my like first boyfriend. I don't know if it counts, like middle school like boyfriends. I don't think that's a thing. But we were just in the hallway and then we like and then ran away from each other. That happened to me with actually two guys that same year. I don't know, I was just like scared of boys. Yeah, but anyways, this is my shelf. So this shelf is like thick. She thick. It's kind of annoying because of how big it is, but like, it's okay. I can like fit stuff in it. That's the point. Um, okay. I don't have much room in my room for like clothing and stuff. So I keep my socks here, underwear here. I have a Polaroid camera. I got this a really long time ago. I would take a picture, but it has no film. My speaker. This is my favorite candle. This is my favorite perfume. I can't pronounce that. A, a D, mm, yeah, not gonna try. Okay. These are my favorite perfumes. These are from Urban Outfitters, and then these are from. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but I want you guys to see how cute these are. The colors kind of go together. I don't know. They're not expensive. So that's what I really like about these perfumes in particular. This is my jewelry, and I just have. Random necklaces. Um, my favorite necklace is actually the one I'm wearing right now. And these are actually all from the M Jewelers. So there she is in the flesh. So down here, I have my sunglasses and I actually got these really cool glasses from The Real Real. They're killer. Okay, they're from Dior. They might be Cricut, are they Cricut? They have a little like Dior sign right there. I really like these glasses. And just have the rest of my glasses. This is the lotion I use. Let me show you guys my favorite scrunchies. These things from Free... Oh, I really like this one, but like these from Free People, they're so soft. Like, that's it. That's the tweet. I have my camera. I have two Vogue magazines. Okay, this one is Beyonce. I got it off eBay because I had to have it. I, ha I just want you to look at this. Look at her face. I don't know what store I went to, but I saw this and I was like, I have to have this one too because Zendaya is on it. I have yet to read it, but it has Zendaya on it, so... That's all I need. Do you remember your first Instagram post? I do, actually. I remember my first Instagram post because it wasn't a picture of myself. It was like artsy, like I was trying to, trying to flex on them. But let me show you a picture of my foot in New Orleans. It almost has 3,000 likes, 2,984. But you know, the funny thing is like almost everyone who commented on this, if I click on their profile, like none of them follow me anymore. So I'm like, Ride or dies, where you at? This is not all of my clothes. I actually have a closet that I need to close. Do not show it, do not show it. Um, yeah. This is my closet. It's a mess, it's tragic. So, these are all my new clothes. These are literally all the clothes I need to show you guys in a haul or something. I've yet to do so. Yeah, it's just a lot going on. Kinda overwhelmed at this point, but one day I'll film it. This is my bed. And there's actually more clothes in my bed. If you look, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. In here, there's like shirts and stuff. I need to do like a closet purge really, really badly. There's so much stuff in here. Yeah, we're just not gonna talk about it. This bed is from Ikea. This blanket is from I Have No Idea. And then this is from Urban Outfitters. It's like a duvet cover. And then I have a silk pillowcase. I've bought 
at least like five decorative pillows. None of them have made the cut because my bed is too small for all that. I have a twin. Do you remember your first breakup? Oh my God, okay. My first breakup was in eighth grade. Oh, okay. My first breakup was in eighth grade with that first boyfriend I was talking about. So I texted him, I was in class, he was in class, and we like would always meet up after class so that we could like walk each other in that class and like be all cute, whatever. I just texted him before then and I was like, hey, we can still kiss and hug, but we like should just be friends. Like I don't wanna be your girlfriend anymore. So and you I, friend zoned him? Not only did I friend zone him, but I ended up talking to his really close friend for like four years. Um, like three years for a very long time. So that was interesting, but he's chilling. We didn't really like each other. We didn't even like each other that much anyway. Like, I don't even know if I should call him like my first boyfriend. Yeah, I never count him. It was eighth grade. In eighth grade, it doesn't count. I don't care what anyone says. Anyways, this is my door. This door actually opens to the outside world. Okay. Nope. It doesn't. It opens. This house does not have air conditioning. It's really hot. I'll open this up. So. Speaking of the outside world, when was the first time you went out of the country and where did you go? The first time I went out of the country was Garage Clothing invited me to like a photo shoot and I was so excited. It was to Montreal, Quebec. I already had a passport because my dad got us all passports and I'll insert pictures here. It was amazing. It was such a good experience and I don't know if I shave my armpits so I'm gonna put my arm down. This is my mirror. It's from Ikea. People ask me all the time and I'm like, it's such a basic mirror. I, I guess it's big, you know? When people come in my room, like the first thing they do is look at themselves, which I like that. I like that about my room. So these are my Alex drawers. They don't really fit in my room that well. These are like thick drawers. They hold a lot though. And I have a lot of PR coming in sometimes, a lot of the times, most of the times. I don't have like anywhere to put it. These are my brushes. This is my everyday stuff. My keys, I guess I have pepper spray and it is bedazzled pepper spray, so don't mess with me. Oh, this water bottle. This water bottle is kinda cute. Do you remember your first YouTube post? I do, actually. It was, I used my dad's camera recorder and I set it up in my room on a tripod, put on all my new outfits. It was a try on haul, it was a birthday try on haul. I think it got probably like 15 views. I remember I was the one watching it, so I would watch it all the time, and I watched it probably like 200 times. So, we all start somewhere. We all have that really bad first video. I have shoes, and I have a lot of platform shoes. That was a weird segue. Love these platforms. These are from Windsor Smith. And then these are also from Windsor Smith. These are from Naked Wolf. I have yet to wear these ones, but someone invited me somewhere so that I can wear them. These are actually Doc Martens that were gifted to me by Doc Martens. So I'm like, but I don't know. I just still think that's crazy. I mostly wear these ones though. They're the platform ones. What was your first insecurity? My first insecurity was my eyes. I had really red eyes. The doctors thought it was pink eye, but it wasn't. So I would take pink eye medicine all the time and it did not work. I had red eyes all throughout elementary school pretty much. And it was, I hated it. They were itchy, they were red, they were, mm, and yeah, that was my, my biggest insecurity. But we're good now. So here's my other shelf. These bags are all mini. I just like mini bags. This one's from Dolls Kill. Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom. I have some boots here. I have some more shoes. Here I have some swimsuits, some electronics. I have some phone cases. This one is sushi, but like it's an iPhone X. My phone doesn't fit anymore. Just a lot of random technology. I have belts, hats, ears from Disneyland. These are just workout shoes. I think they're so cute. As you can tell, I don't have that many colored shoes, but I do have these. These are sick but still healthy, you know? I got gifted these from Sephora in Tennessee and I am obsessed with them. Who was your first crush? My first crush <laughs> was this boy named Jamar. Um, I don't know if he's watching this, he might be. I might send it to him. I was in love with this boy for like two years. Like from second to like fourth grade, like 
Jamar it was it. I mean, my friend called him Jamarsha, and I think it was because like we wanted his attention or something. I don't know why we did that. Fun fact though, he actually emailed me like I don't know a couple of years ago. Emailed me. Emailed me. All I have to say is they always come back around. <laughs> Stop, wait, hold up, wait a minute, now start, play. This lamp is from Target. This is from Urban Outfitters. And then I, oh, I have my ukulele. I can't play it right now because my nails are too long. I usually don't get nails. That's probably why I'm moving my hands like this. One last question. <laughs> what was it? I'll tell you what's, what's it. up. <laughs> What was your first business? My first business was a bookmark business and I had it with my two friends that used to live kind of close to me. It didn't go so well. There was only one artist in the group, so she had to do all the bookmarks. So when we got orders and she couldn't do them, I had to do them. Like they weren't as good. My parents ordered one for everyone in our family, so I made about 40 cents, <laughs> but we split that between the three of us. 13.3. Wow. So we all made 13.3 cents. You know, you gotta start somewhere. That's it. I think that's like my whole room. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, have a wonderful day. You can follow me on my social medias. They're at Kiana Naomi. And I hope you enjoyed looking at my room because I enjoyed showing it to you. Bye. Bye-bye.